Okay, can I go under the- I can go under the stairs. Look at this, it's such a tiny hole and I fit straight through. Hello guys, this is Spider Rock, and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition add-on showcase video. Today we are going to be checking out the CDA's Morph add-on. This is an add-on that allows you to morph into different mobs, um, and then turn back into the player, of course. And a couple of them have some bonuses as well. I believe it is survival friendly too. I'm just really excited about this because it's the closest I think we've gotten so far to having a uh, an add-on similar to the Morph mod in Java Edition. As always, there will be links in the description to download this um, add-on, as well as links to my Discord server and whatnot. Sorry if you hear weird buzzing in the background. My neighbors are building a new porch, I believe. Anyway, let's hop right into this. So here's everything you can morph into. We've We've got zombies and creepers and drowned, endermites, evokers, pillagers, vindicators, ravagers, ravager, ravager. I always feel like I'm saying that wrong. Shulkers, witches, hoglins, husks, magma cubes, phantoms, piglin brutes, wither skeletons, zoglins, and then of course player, which will revert you back into your player state. Now there are some more I'm pretty sure that you can morph into. Um, with the only downside that I think they don't like entirely work, so you have to get them from a special menu. I'm still not sure about that, so today we're going to be messing around with some of these normal things. I'm going to go ahead and hop into survival, and we're going to mess around with some of these. So I'm pretty sure some of them give you some special buffs, although for the most part I don't think they do. So I think I'd like to start with one that I, I thought was pretty interesting, which was... Actually, here, let's start with the zombie. I feel like that's an obvious one. Uh-oh. I'm burning in daylight. I did not, I did not think that would happen. Happen. It's happening. Um, I need some water or something. Well, I was, you know, I, I knew this was cool, but I didn't know it was that interesting. Wait, why am I so fast in water? I don't think zombies are supposed to swim this quickly. Um, I don't think I can regularly swim. Okay, I can. It just looks like I'm standing. Okay, I no wonder it said it may be buggy. Um, well, let me morph back to the player so I can get out of here. I can breathe underwater and I'm really fast. That's kind of strange. Um, I'm gonna go back into the player. Let's try being a drowned. Maybe that was meant for the drowned, the like weird speed underwater. Nope, I'm not fast underwater, but I can breathe underwater, which is, uh, that's pretty nice. I don't know why. I guess the models are still a little bit weird. This is kind of interesting though. You know, I can just hang out down here just, uh, being underwater or whatever. Okay, well, oh, nope, I'm burning. I keep forgetting. Uh, drowned or like everything else. Okay, let's try a creeper then. Is there anything interesting I can do as a creeper? Can I like walk up to something and blow it up? Maybe I don't I don't I'm assuming I can't I'm assuming I can't like go over and blow up a chicken But imagine if like you're playing with your friends and one of your friends just pulls up This would be good for April Fools Just one of your friends is just or or you could go troll your friends by just being a creeper and just sneak into their house and just Kind of hang out there as a creeper. Wait, I can go into short mode. I can just be a short creeper. What it? I'm, I'm a short creeper. I'm, I'm going up and down. I don't know. Honestly, I do not know. Okay, I'm going back to a player. Let's check out what's probably my favorite thing here. Let me go ahead and break a couple of these um, just to show you the actual effect of this. Hold on. Let me break this last one here. Is the Endermite. So I can morph into the Endermite. I only have four hearts of health, which is actually pretty neat how it like changes your health. Um, but as the Endermite, I can essentially go under one block tall and I believe maybe even half slab. Oh half slab tall blocks but the only downside that you will technically be inside of the block on top so you will like start to suffocate there but it's still neat because i can just go under here i want to see if i can go under a half slab um hold on this is just funny i think just seeing my little uh, endermite i just run around here okay let me find some uh let me find some planks just just playing minecraft as an endermite wait hold on this is kind of weird uh, playing Minecraft as an Endermite. Uh, don't mind me. I'm just a, I'm just a little Endermite just hanging out. Oh my gosh! This like this uh, log is kind of sticking out here really big. Uh, you can craft them pretty easily. I think it only costs one dirt for a player morph, which makes sense because it's meant to be like. I'm pretty sure in the original mod you can uh, you can just take something out and then you get the ability to morph into it whereas that's not really possible with add-ons right now so i'm pretty sure it just costs some of like the things that are needed to craft it okay we've got half slabs here though can i go under half slab? yes i can i can go under half slabs look at this look at this half slabs more like more like nah that wasn't funny i thought that would be funny it's not funny but yes you can go straight through beneath half slabs that's actually pretty neat i want to know if you could like get through um like a stair hold on i know i should probably check out some of these other ones but i'm so intrigued by by the tiny hitbox of the endermite 
Um, or I guess less the tiny hitbox and well, well, I guess it's the hitbox. I'm still still unsure. I don't have enough to make stairs though yet. Do I? Can I make? Wait, no. I need more oak to make oak stairs. I really should have thought this through beforehand. I should have put down like some stairs or something. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, I made some stairs. Let's let's check this out. I want to see if I put stairs uh, like this. Can I place it correctly? Yes, I can. Okay, can I go under the- I can go under the stairs. Look at this, it's such a tiny hole and I fit straight through. Oh my gosh, okay. I don't know why the camera is kind of weird. I guess it makes sense. I can just go straight under the stairs though, that's satisfying. Okay, I, I, sh I should stop being obsessed with this. I'm gonna do a slash kill just to reset my health and stuff. Okay, here we go. Uh, evoker. Uh, I am now an evoker. I don't think there's any special evoker powers. I think I can just be an evoker. Oh, I guess I get some bonus health. Is this also bugged out in the water? Kind of weird. I am very fast, although I am drowning and I'm making weird bubbles. I don't know why I'm so fast in the water. Can I evoke on this? Uh, no, I can't evoke the the um, the pig. Oh, there was one thing about the cre creeper, I believe, which you don't have to go straight into play. I think the creeper did extra attack damage. I, I, I guess it doesn't. I thought it did at one point. Maybe that is. Maybe that is extra attack damage. I don't know. Yeah, let's be a pillager. I'm a pillager now. I, I am a pillager now. I don't know why I said that toy. Oh, it looks so weird if you like crouch and hop. Um, okay, well, let's be a vindicator. Maybe if I get near a, a mob, it'll like pull out an ax. That would be interesting. I don't think that'll happen though. Okay, I want to check out some of these other ones because I've, I've only checked out a few of these. I haven't checked out too many though. Okay, let's try out the witch. It would be cool if... It'd be cool if each of these had special abilities. Like, I know that's not how the actual mod works, other than, like, being able to fly um, and having the extra health, which it is nice having the extra... Ha, witch. It is nice. Get it? Okay, let's be a hoglin. I wonder if I'll turn into a zoglin if I'm just hanging out here. I don't think I will. It's also kind of funny how the legs on some of these don't animate. I'm just... I'm just vibing like a hoglin. But I do have a lot of health, which is nice. And I believe the hoglin is resistant to lava. Um, it's either the hoglin or the zoglin. I can't remember which. But one of them, if I jump in lava, oh, that's water. If I jump in lava, nope, not the hoglin, apparently. Not the hoglin, I believe that is the zoglin then. Okay, can I be not on water? There we go. Okay, let's be a magma cube. Magma cubes are made of magma. They're they're uh, lava proof, right? Oh, I have no health. I literally don't have health. I'm assuming that's because I'm one shot to, like my health bar is literally gone. I guess it makes sense because I'm one shot, but like my, I don't have a health bar. I also don't take lava damage. Um, I wonder if I'll die of like fall damage from like a, a couple blocks in the air. Hold on, let me place down, let me place down a wood plank or two. Oh gosh, if I just jump down here will I die? I, wait, do I just not have health? Does this mean I have infinite health? Does this mean I literally cannot take damage? Am I an invincible magma cube? I think I am invincible as a magma cube. Let me spawn in some zombies or something and see if I can, I guess, some husks and see if I can uh, take them out with just my magma cubiness. Do you, you have no power against, wait, they ignore me? Wait, it's like I'm, wait, if I, oh, nope, they don't ignore me. Okay, I'm not invincible. Uh, uh, moving on, I'm gonna be a husk. Maybe if I, maybe if I'm a husk, the husks will leave me alone. Uh, because I'm a husk, I'm apparently too tall to get under this uh, thing. I don't know if husks can get through there. It'd be interesting if they can't. You won't hit me though, right? I can punch you and you... Oh, nope. A husk will hit me if I hit it. I guess that's how husks work. Although, I don't know if they can hit each other. It is cool how it changes the hand though. And I can just hang out as a husk with my husk friends. Although my hands are kind of weirdly shaped. They're not like husk hands. That would be nice if they were husk. Husk-like. Okay, phantom. Okay, what is what is a phantom... We do. Okay, I can jump into the air and fly upwards. I don't think I can go back down though. I think I can only go up, which is a bit of a problem. Uh, can I go back down, please? Can I stop going up? Well, apparently I'm I'm going into space. Uh, can I use this player one? Maybe I can land in the water here. Ooh, MLG, MLG. Let's go. Uh, I'm an I'm a major league. I'm an MLG gamer. Oh my gosh, the piglin brute has so much health. Okay. I feel like this is making me slow for some reason. I guess it's not, but yeah, I'm gonna be a piglin brute. Oh no, hey, hey, no, you don't hit me. I should get an axe or something so I can be like the brute. I don't know what's up with the with the like hand placement and stuff. Though. That's kind of weird. Okay, back to player. Let's see what else do I have. I have a wither skeleton. This one is real weird with the arm, and I don't have a sword, and uh, I can't wither things. But it's still interesting. It's still neat. Um, oh hey, I got a zombie one from that guy. So yeah, you can see I can craft all of these just like really easily. 
Um, it's kind of interesting how they all have the same crafting recipe, actually. I don't know. Uh, nope, I didn't mean to drop the player one. I kind of need that. Actually, I don't really need it because I can just use um, just use the dirt to get it. Okay, let's see. We have the last three here, which are the Ravager, the Shulker, and the Zoglin. I want to see the Ravager. Oh my gosh, that has so much health. Bro, imagine just being a Ravager. Like, you would be able to see your hand, but like, literally, look at this. Look at this. Things don't attack you. Like, hostile mobs don't attack you. You have so much health, and you can just run around. Although, I think you'd have a hard time, like, getting into places, like, getting into buildings and stuff. Hold on, let me do a slash kill just to see how this is with full health. Oh my gosh, yeah, I have a lot of health. Can I- I can make it through here, I've got a lot of health. Oh, nope, he's coming for me. How's it going? I am a Ravager. I don't know why I shake really weirdly when I punch. I, like, my whole body shakes back and forth. That's kind of strange. Okay, let's be a Shulker. I didn't know Shulkers had that much health, but all right. I don't think there's any advantage to being a Shulker uh, other than the health boost, but it is kind of funny just being a Shulker, just being a running around block, like I'm playing uh, hide and seek or whatever on Hive or something. Okay, let's see. We've also got, finally, I don't know I have a zombie on me. I have so many zombies. Okay, and then let's be a Zoglin. I believe this is the one that's, uh, that's non, whatever, non-burnable, non-melting. I don't think you can melt Zoglins, although maybe you can melt Zoglins. I'm not sure. This looks kind of funny though, just bouncing around. I'm a bouncing Zoglin. What are you gonna What are you gonna do about it? And I can't burn either. Hey, just hanging out, just vibing, just vibing and hanging out. I can't wait to see where this add-on goes though. Like, it's in general pretty solid. I'm gonna give it since it's buggy and new in development. I'm still only gonna give it a maybe a five out of ten. I'll give it a six out of ten for consideration. But I, I definitely have high hopes for what this will uh, eventually become. And uh, I, I hope that it will someday be a 10 out of 10, given that Morph is my favorite uh, Java Edition mod, I'd say. Either that or like the hats one with the menu. I think those are those are two of my favorite mods. Uh, definitely Morph though. I think the coolest thing to me is just turning into a bat and flying around. But uh, I'd like to see where this goes. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you made it to here, uh, this is I'm Spider Rock. The, oh, I've got a face in here. Wait, hold on. Okay, well, thanks for watching. If you made it to here, see you guys later. And bye. <laughs>